The Payday 3 open beta is out, and of course, performance is okay. On a 3080 Ti with default settings, I'm sitting at a solid 66 FPS and 2K. Cranking everything down to low, we're now sitting at a solid 90. Things are okay, but turning things back up, we can improve performance even further. Leaving everything pretty much where it is, on ultra settings, we can make the game look a lot better by changing out the anti-aliasing solution. Currently, things are a little bit blurry and not to mention shimmery in the background. We can keep pretty much everything where it is, but swap out a few advanced settings to get a lot more performance out of the game. So we'll move from 70-ish FPS and see what we get. For now, I'll close the game and without changing any of the in-game options, I'll head across to Steam, right-click Payday 3, click Properties, and in the Launch Options, we'll add hyphen DX12 as such, close it and fire it up once more. Assuming you have a relatively modern graphics card, it should get a huge performance boost just with one simple launch argument. Loading back into the game with everything still on Ultra, as you can see here, we should already notice an FPS boost that is pretty noticeable, especially on lower end newer systems. We've now moved up to 84-ish FPS, but there should generally be an improvement using DirectX 12 over DirectX 11. You can see this confirmed in the overlay. In green at the very top, it says D3D 12. Previously, I'm pretty sure it was D3D 11, but we can push the game even further and fix some of the odd issues with anti-aliasing. Some people are complaining about it being a bit blurry, and in the distance, you can see there's quite a bit of shimmer over in these far objects. Let's currently quit. Oh wow, we actually reached 90 now that everything moved in. Uh, anyways, we'll quit and see what else we can do. In the description down below, you'll find a bit of text that will be adding into a configuration file. Hold start and press R. Then inside of the run dialog box that just popped up, type percentage local app data percentage, hit enter. And in the new window that pops up, click anywhere, type in pay to jump straight to payday three. And inside of him, followed by saved and config, then windows no editor. Inside of him, we'll be opening or creating an engine.ini file. Simply open this with any text editor and inside of him scroll all the way down to the very bottom add a few new lines and just before the last one paste in the text from the description down below this here pasting in these few configuration lines enables TAA or temporal anti-aliasing and upscaling so we can drop the render resolution to something like 70 or probably 80% for a more accurate true-to-life representation of having much better quality but we should see a huge bump in performance. On top of this, these last three options here are your preference. First of all, tone mapper quality. By enabling this, we disable the vignette around your screen. That's the darker edges and corners. But if you happen to like that effect, just leave out this line entirely. Also the scene color fringe quality. By disabling this, we're disabling chromatic aberration. That's where there's a red and blue split around objects and things like that. It is pretty popular, especially in the Unreal Engine, but if you're not a huge fan of that effect, here's where we can disable it. Once again, you can remove it. Finally, SSR is Screen Space Reflections. We can disable this for a pretty big-ish boost in performance, but we'll see when we get in-game. I'll save this file and minimize this, and we'll fire back into the game once more. And there we are back in-game. Things are still loading in, but you can see we're sitting at 150-ish FPS in the actual game. It drops to 90. We'll wait for everything to load in fully and the game to stop stuttering just to see where we level out. Keep in mind, the options are all still on the ultra setting with everything turned all the way up so the performance boost you're seeing here and quality boost with anti-aliasing, especially in the noticeable shimmer, well, somewhat, has all improved. We'll wait for everything to load. Okay, well, there we go. Things seem to have evened out and in this direction, we're getting around 110-ish FPS, which is really good. There's a huge improvement. Looking down the street once more, it jumps to about 98, almost 100 FPS, which is still a huge improvement. With everything still all the way cranked up, there's a large difference in quality and performance.
These settings I'd highly recommend for pretty much anyone running relatively new hardware when it comes to DirectX 12, and that's really it. Let's test out the lowest possible settings just to see what happens. I don't remember the FPS I was getting, but now we're sitting at 130-ish with everything set down as low as possible. Now I'll have to overlay what the previous FPS was for the lowest possible settings. So a huge improvement in performance with pretty much no quality loss. Obviously, it's still the open beta currently, but when the full game eventually releases, these same exact steps will apply and there'll be a huge increase in quality and performance. So anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshooter. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!